It is so cold out here. This wind is bitter. The water's choppy. He wasn't able to finish the race. We'll have him call you. And now my heart's like pounding. My day has turned around and it's been better than I imagined it was going to be this morning. I've been a little bit blue, kind of sad all day. Um, Landon has a triathlon this weekend and if you've been following along for a few years, you'll know that we enjoy doing those together. I did not sign up this year for it just because I, I just didn't want to. But that's not why I was sad. I was sad because he was going to come home from school, he was going to leave again and I just wanted him here with me for the weekend or I wanted to go up there and be with him. I wanted to go watch his triathlon, watch him run and swim and bike and all that fun stuff um, because they're fun races to watch. They didn't want any spectators coming because of COVID and so I understood that it was going to be kind of a cold weekend so I kept the kids home. So I was just kind of blue that I was going to be like without him tonight with all the kids. However, these kids are amazing. They have been making me laugh for the past hour. They have been sliding down, playing in the water, playing in that. You can't even see them because they are hiding. Are you getting all the towels wet? Uh, and now they're fighting. Don't spray the towels. You want me to come inside? I'll take them inside. You want to take them inside? Okay. okay. So this is our fort. Is Fort Tundra. Fort Tundra. Oh, they're signing. This is our thing. Then we can get through. Here's like a. Then here's a big opening. It's amazing. All right. So what's better on a Friday night, oatmeal or Chick Fil A? Well, I got a thumbs up, so I'm assuming that this is better. I'm having a movie night with the kids, and I didn't plan on pulling out the camera, but we are watching The Call of the Wild. It's the newest one. We just rented it on Amazon Prime. It is the cutest movie so far. I'm loving it. The kids are loving it. If you guys need a good... The is so stupid. <laughs> if you need a good movie recommendation, watch The Call of the Wild. This is, like, really cute so far. Good morning guys, it is race day. Check out this hot hotel that we stayed in last night. <laughs> Green walls, kind of the carpet wasn't awful, but I mean it was just a place to crash and that's all we needed is just some junky place to sleep. And now it's time to fuel up and hit race day. But I came in to fuel up and check out my muffin. You see that? I got uh, one guess, his name's Cooper. So I get a little less pre-race fuel than I was anticipating, but we're gonna fuel up and then we're gonna head out to set up our transitions and get going for the day. It's game time. The weather is chilly and it's supposed to rain. We're feeling a little sprinkle right now, but essentially, as you get ready for a triathlon, you set up what's called a transition area. You run in from your swim, you snag your bike, you go on your bike, you come back to the transition area, throw your running shoes on and you get to it. So, so the biggest challenge of a triathlon, it's not the bike, it's not the swim, it's not the run. It is just getting on your wetsuit. That is the hardest part. It is so cold out here. This wind is bitter, the water's choppy, but we're gonna have fun anyway. You can always have fun in any situation as long as you just enjoy yourself. Take a deep breath and enjoy the scenery. It's beautiful out here. What has this life come to? Look at us. Who would have ever thought that part of the routine of getting out of the house is grabbing a mask? Um, I told the kids that they could go to the grocery store and pick out a few fun things. So this is the plan. Ellie is driving through from St. George, going up to Logan, and I said, let me hop a ride with you, and then I'll come back home when Landon's on the triathlon. So that was the plan. And then Landon was like, I have to go home right after and work on a paper. And I'm like, well, crap, I want to go hang out with my sisters. So I'm still hitching a ride with Ellie. We are going to go to Logan. We are going to visit with Bonnie and just have a grand old time. And then on Sunday, Landon is going to, those blinds are so loud. Shh. Do you have your shoes? Okay. And then on Sunday, Landon will drive back up with the kids and come and get me. But because Landon does have to work on this paper and it's like due at midnight tonight after he does a triathlon, he's going to be exhausted. Anyway, I'm getting a babysitter for the day. And to make things easier for a babysitter, I want to make sure like we have like food and snacks ready to go. So 
Let's go to the grocery store. I'm not gonna be in charge. I'm the babysitter. No, yeah, no, you're not in charge. You're not the babysitter. Hey, you know what though? Come here. That does bring me a good point. Oh no. You are the oldest, and it is your responsibility to help not make everyone go crazy. Do you know what I mean? Like, sometimes she gets really hyper and she eggs on the craziness. Help the babysitter because one day it will be you, okay? Buddy, Perfect. are you gonna let me have a bite of your cookie? I just hope the line is not so Yeah? He said yes. The are you gonna give me a lick of your sucker? Can I have your sucker? I can? Oh, I don't want it. You keep it. <laughs> so cute. So I just texted my sister and mother-in-law because they're at the race. And I said, how's Landon doing? And have you seen him? And they said, he wasn't able to finish the race. We'll have him call you. And now my heart's like pounding. And I'm scared and nervous what he's gonna say. Well, welcome to the back of the ambulance. I uh, contracted some hypothermia on the race today, so that was super fun. We had a family that was driving by, and they stopped and they said, are you okay? And I finally just kind of stopped shivering, just barely. And they uh, picked me up. I was with Brayden. This is Laura, she's back in here hey. with me. Um, sorry, I'm still just like coming back to it, but. Um, they, they stopped and grabbed me and my bike, tossed me back in here, and I've just been like shivering and shaking. So I got most of the way through the bike, but it was just miserable, raining and windy, and my core temperature just dropped. So I could not finish. Brayden is running, right? Brayden's running, yeah. Brayden and Reed? Yep, Reed's running. running. So I had to call it quits. I don't know if I'll be able to get back out there at all today, but I'm glad Brayden and Reed could finish it up. But I get to sit in the ambulance and warm up. It's like 120 degrees in here now, so I, I'm, I'm getting there. Oh, what a miserable race. Like, that's just, it was awful. Uh, It's pretty hot back here. I know. <laughs> You're like burning I'm sure up. You guys are dying. Yeah, but it's okay. Uh, you guys warmed up that's all that. Hi. Good, how are you? What happened? Yeah, we just started leaving Provo. But Lara said you weren't able to finish. What happened? You said the conditions are miserable. Yeah, so the swim was awful. I, mo they said half of the full racers quit. Like they didn't even get in the water before it started. Oh. Because it was white caps. It was so choppy. Oh. So we got in the swim. We did the swim. Got out. It started sprinkling. So I hopped on the bike. And about 10 miles into the bike, it was downpouring and head headwind. And so we were all just out there pounding it. I got about 20 miles in and I was like, I need someone by my side. Like I'm starting to like lose it because I'm, I was going hypothermic. Aww. And so I slowed down and let Braden catch up to me. So Braden rode by my side for about six miles or about four miles. And, uh, and I'm like, dude, I have to stop. Like I can't, I'm, I'm, I am hypothermic. So I stopped and like, I, I was just shaking. Like my whole bike, like I was just, shaking so some people that were driving by stopped and they're like get in our car right now so they <laughs> took my bike put it on their bike rack like cranked their heat up and brought me and threw me in the ambulance and they had to warm me up and <laughs> i was just like oh, honey freezing yeah so it like makes happy. me feel bad that you like went through that that's okay I know. I'm finally, I mean, finally I mean, warmed back up it. now, but yeah, they won't let me finish. So. so are other people finishing through the rain? You just happen to get really cold? Yeah, some people are finishing. Okay. Yeah, like Brayden was, got off and was like, okay, I'm going to try this run. He's walking the run because he's like, I can't feel my feet. Everybody's soaked. And That's insane. Breathing. Well, I'm glad I didn't haul all the kids up and try and watch. Oh. Totally. No, it's like windy and rainy and okay. just nasty. So. Okay, do you know what I love to do? And I've 
been here and I've done this situation several times before where Bonnie and Ellie are doing Bali brand work Sorry. and I'm literally, no, it's my favorite thing. They just looked at me like, I'm so sorry. Oh, no. Terrible. No, that's why I pulled out the camera because I love this because it's cute to watch them communicate and talk and work and I literally do nothing. Or Ellie, did you pack this? No. <laughs> no, it's just fun for me to see the behind the scenes of Bali Brand. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I will leave a link in the description below. But you stay tuned for their fall line because it sounds oh, really cute. Really? They're just talking about photos and props and it's just really fun to like watch them work and I sit and do nothing. <laughs> All right, now that that excitement is over, a three hour drive later and I am here at school, wouldn't you know it? working on stuff. I came straight from the triathlon here. I gotta bust some papers out quick that I are, that are due tonight, and then I gotta head home. Since Julie's up north, we got a babysitter. So wish me luck here at school. It's gonna take me a couple hours to pound this out. This is actually a paper for my thesis that we've submitted to be published. And if you have not seen my thesis defense and you want to see what my thesis is about and the things we found, um, I will leave a little iCard right here. And you can watch it. Well, I am finally done for the night, and thank goodness it has been one very long day. Thanks for watching me have hypothermia and helping me through it. I'm gonna head home and snuggle in my bed. Have a good night, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs>